In this video, we are working on a 2013 Ford E350 with the 5.4 liter. We are replacing the SRS or restraint control module that has the yaw rate sensor built into it. Just note that you will have to have your new module programmed to operate correctly after being replaced. Be sure to have a professional reprogram your new module so that the airbag system may function properly and you will be safe while driving your vehicle. Begin by making sure the ignition is off and key is out. Come under the driver's side kick panel to the fuse box. Remove the cover and then remove fuse number 32. There are two tabs on the fuse box cover that you'll have to squeeze in order to take the cover off. Remove the cover and find fuse number 32, which is a 10 amp, right here. Remove the fuse. Then come back up to the dash. Turn the ignition on with the engine off. Make sure that the airbag light is illuminated for at least 30 seconds. After this, turn the ignition off. Next, go under the hood and disconnect the negative battery cable. The negative battery cable is disconnected with an 8 millimeter nut. Just loosen that and take the cable off. Also wrap a rag around the cable to insulate it from the terminal so that you don't have any accidental contact during the repair. Once that is secure, we will go inside of the vehicle underneath the driver's side seat. With the driver's seat in the full forward position, you can come from behind the seat and gain access to the module. Begin by disconnecting both electrical connectors here and here. Take a pocket screwdriver or something similar and lift up on the gray tab. Push all the way back and that will release the connector. Connector behind it, just push the gray tab down and pull the connector back. After you have disconnected the electrical connections, you will remove these three 10 millimeter nuts. One, two, and three. Once you have all three nuts removed, lift straight up on the module and remove the module. Be sure to clean any debris or dirt in, around, or underneath of the module area so that when you install, you'll have proper torque on all points. With the area cleaned, install the module in the reverse procedure. Before mounting the module, be sure to check all the pins in the new module that they are not bent or broken. Gently place the module over the three studs. Install the three nuts and torque them to 106 inch pounds. Once you have successfully torqued down all three nuts, then install the electrical connections. The first connection simply pushes on and you'll hear a click. The second connection, be sure that the release tab is pushed fully back before sliding on to the connection. Once it is slid on as far as it can go, begin by pushing the tab towards the module and it will snap and lock in place. Once you have re-established connection at the new module, go ahead and turn the ignition to the on position, two clicks forward. Then install the fuse you removed. Come back out to the battery and re-establish your connection. Since my connection was pretty corroded and nasty, I went ahead and quickly cleaned it so that we made good contact. Once you re-establish connection, you'll find that the radio comes on and it's very static. Just switch that off for the time being. Next, switch the ignition off. 
wait 10 seconds, then turn the ignition back on. The airbag light will illuminate for 6 seconds. If you experience anything other than what was described, like the light fails to turn on, or the airbag light remains on or is flashing, it may indicate that there are codes. Since this module is brand new, it still has to be programmed. There were no codes prior to the installation and replacement of the module, so after the reprogramming of the new module is completed, I will recheck and scan for codes. When disconnecting the battery in this vehicle, you'll notice that the clock will have been reset to a random time. To adjust the clock, simply hit menu, set hour, then hit menu again to set minutes. Once you have set hours and minutes, hit menu again and it is complete. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for new videos.